one side. Vitality on this defense early looking for the first picks. Kadak comes away with one, but it's Patatek who has the double. Kadak. Wasn't sort of expecting a push to come in from there. A bit of miscommunication perhaps. Sender has been the one that's turned a couple of these rounds around and with a free K he might be able to do the same thing. Now it's a two versus one in favor of Vitality. Chihuahua with the spike not in hand has to push on through. It's a lovely angle that Sender's taken. A thought can he at least get a plant down to get a bit more money is the question. Well, Tripwire certainly making things a little difficult, but they're going to try and hit towards the site. Grams trying to slow them down with the snake bite. That is going to allow Shadow to have some easier fights on towards them, but he manages only one, so it's the rest of the team. It's in particular Sender who comes in. Oh, my coming back in with a blade storm. Mo coming in with two kills in this round. Let's put Excel. Yeah, perhaps not, but Excel. I mean, at the start of this round, just for the initial picks that they were able to pick up, put themselves in a very good position. And that is getting that one Cypher Lord coming up from the beast as if needed. Here comes that Rolling Thunder. Ultimate is starting to be invested now. Forward Chihuahua has picked up Kata. I know it's Shout out to getting a double kill. Leeds trying to keep his team in this one. Let's go down quite quickly. Spike this down, one for one please. that keeps on continuing. Tread after tread. Excel have got themselves into the two versus two. The spike looking to go down finally. Looking to pull out this. That talks this screen can just pop up straight away and towards the site and Chihuahua still through it takes down Sender Excel looking to push forward they've got six rounds surely locked in and lovely round whether it's Kada being more insane on a consistent basis that's a daring resurrect from back and it actually all of the chaos brams might be there to exploit playing enough of this box nobody checks him free players walk straight on past and Excel, they really have a little flanker in behind them. Bram's trying to get around the backside and catch them looking the wrong way. And he is denied the plant. Off the spike gets away with a second kill as well. Rolling Thunder catches a few of these XL players, but Aussie doesn't care. Brings down Vac, and suddenly we're back at this equilibrium of a two versus two. A cosmic divide goes down, and Aussie so quick on the headshot. That's Kada out of play. And it's all on Shadow to try and out win out this one versus two. The spike has not been planted. They have to double back and try and pick no kill. And now both players are low. This is really down to who hits what first. And Ellis, like you pointed out, their attack definitely looked a little weaker than their defense earlier. But Kada, they came in with a good opening into a round like this. And these rounds can often be a miracle. Uh, they get you right back into play. So Vitality can somehow find a round here. That would certainly put advantage size if Vitality drew the first pick that was theirs. Chihuahua, though, the flank is good, and he did spot Kada. He knows he's in that position, but Kada just needs to hide because he knows he has a teammate on the right side, and that's Shadow to try and cover off his teammate. Does get the kill. Chihuahua was tunnel visioned into the fight upon Kada, and so therefore has given the kill to Vitality, and they've got the advantage into the retake. Although XL with the spike down certainly stand a chance of closing this one out. One enemy remaining. Ooh. Kada's finding that success finally. The stun is nice onto Ozzy, but he's holding the line. The flank is a good point, and Ozzy was considering being pushed from that position. It might be a possibility. Yeah, the side of it, he's just peering over the top. My spot. The side is back coming around the corner. Oh, he actually flicks up. I have no idea how he's come away with that pick. Risky business trying to updraft over this wall against Chihuahua right now with his hit. M on point. And now comes the attack out of heaven. The play down in towards the side. Exactly Shadow looking to charge forward. In towards the attack, but XL still holding this advantage, and now it's even followed up upon by Pad Attack, who has found that secondary kill to put XL up to a two man advantage. How are Vitality going to find a way back into this round? I don't know if they will. Sanders found at least a headshot, but they didn't lose the team in reply, so they're still down so many members. Our performance. Here we are, Aussie playing from hell, jumping over the top. One, two, what? Oh, what? Aussie, what? That is unbelievable. How has he done that? Four ridiculous headshots, and that has just broken the back entirely of. That is literally the most disgusting play I've seen in a very long time, Ryan. I hope the stream have caught that one. Uh, but my god, Mo, he's come through with a headshot. Rams, Vac, Mo in with another one. XL just tearing up vitality right now. I think for XL as well, almost there's this weird tension in the air. Shadow actually catching on to a kill, making it not a bit more costly for XL. Two players going down. The flank is a good idea. 
Here's some area of the map that Mo is about to take an engagement on, but these fights are being isolated one by one. Spike has been picked up. There's no flashes to allow Shadow to escape onto the site. Now, Fault Line could line up these players. Ozzy's a bit left. close and now taking a lot of damage. Out of Shadow just has to hold on and try and break this one down. And it's Ozzy there in the headlights right now, hoping to maybe bait the rotation by not showing too much. And it's allowed them at least a bit of space, but Element catches on to Kader as he's executing on. Element trying to get in a good position. What a read. Check down in below and Sender gets removed from play as he looks directly below. Element with a 3k so far in this round. And it's just two players left for Vitality. Brands gets run by Element with the 4k. What an absolute... Yeah, and also just winning the, the series beforehand against Rebels. That's one of those easier said than done series when it comes to... The team you're playing up against, oh, awesome. their reputation and all that kind of thing, is a completely different team to what we saw lose in the Open Qualifiers last time. Yeah, and I think a team that relies a lot on individuals, Ryan, I think that can often be a problem for them, right? The fact that, yeah, you rely on them so much that when they look good and everybody shows up, they look incredible. But when they don't, maybe they can start to struggle a little bit. And that's where teams that have that, bl you know, that blend or balance of structure and individual skill generally succeed. But when XL are popping off and everybody's having a performance like this, this team are very exciting to watch. Especially the two Sentinels so far have been the shining players and Sender really has to claw his team back into it. And Earl Fifth is going to give them all the information to work with. But what are they going to do in the meanwhile? Vac knows that there's a player unless he can sneak his way through, but I don't think that's likely to look at where everybody is. Element or closes it with and take on the execute as it comes in. Chihuahua, what a player, what a performance in the last map, but he might have a chance to slip around the backside with his teammates. Distraction coming through. Chihuahua able to pick up one. Oh, Shadow's running out of ammo, but he's still alive. They all had to reload, so Shadow gets in behind the cyber cage. He's able to get into a good position. Only be able to do anything with these shock guards. Chihuahua is low. Just a whisker of damage would be enough. This is down to the two versus two recon port. It'd certainly be effective. It's now Aussie's position given up. They've taken down Chihuahua and they know exactly where Aussie is. He was the god of the pistols on the last map, but not this time. Shadow with the 3k vitality with the pistol. Yeah, Shadow. Looks like XL looking to go for a split towards the B site in this round. Currently, it is Sender. Got the headhunter at the ready, but they jump over his crosshair. Luckily, can rendezvous back into Boathouse. That's why you can allow him to play solo and allow that rotation in because he can buy so much time and just lock down the start itself. Elements come back into play. Just one for him, though. As Vac able to trade out. And these Spectres, these Spectres are doing work, Ryan. In fact, they might just win the round here. That was a super wide peak. And yeah, Sender, I was wondering how many bullets he had left in stacking up from short from tiles trying to make their way into mid. But it's the operator that wins out. This this early pressure, like the flashes from Patitech, clearly having no impact over on the Phoenix because Vitae, I guess, didn't connect. The pressure wasn't there on the attacking side, and you've got Vac on the op that's feeling comfortable and a very vitality running away. The Blade Storm is a uh, an ultimate that could do quite a lot for Element. Brams is not afraid to. Nobody checks him. People run right past him, and there's no reaction at all. Vitality holding it close, and Brams is the one that's breaking it apart. Just. One or two kills against Vitality at this point. The Pats take the plant. For Vitality, the biggest mistake they can make here is giving him the chances, giving him the one versus ones, and oh. off. They will split upon his position. Sender comes in. Pat attack tries, but can't get out of the corner. Jiggle peeking, caught by the camera. Not too worried. He has got the spot of his teammates, but that's a lot of pressure coming in immediately from Market. The run it back is. Instantly put away, kind of shutting that down. Also playing in on the site off the back of Brams. Suddenly now, XL are able to get a few more kills, but Kada is still a problem in this area. Trying to find the engagement onto Element. There's 10 seconds left to get that spike in, and a nice round 2v2 for Vitality to go in for the retake. They're actually pushed it a little more aggressively. There's no time for Element anymore. He has to get both these kills. And in that moment, Vitality decides to back off to make it. Gets him for Patatek's position once again. He's been tied up by that drone, but Element able to stick. Holding towards B, so Vac feels comfortable about making this play forward, but he is caught now. Getting caught and spammed and under pressure. He tries to get away. He nearly makes it around the corner, but Mo hunts him down. The rifle trickles at his back as we go into a mad advantage for XL finally. 30 seconds left. 
Are they gonna check this Conor Kelly? In back. fact, they're actually just gonna reset completely. Bear in mind that the Tour de Force is in the hands of Sender. He knows it's gonna be an A bait. He's probably gonna be up on Raptors all, by the time ready. this execute oh. comes in. This ultimate could be the difference oh. if he can get this angle nicely. Well, he's trying his best to hold it off. Miss shot in the first. Oh no, he jumps out to the right side. Those doors come down, and now Kadar's trying to try and deny the plan. He can't do it. Spike goes down, but Kadar with a 3k. Able to shut down a couple more. It's all down to Brams to try and keep the clean sheet, and he won't. Oh, that shock dart is good, but. L and it is going to force XL more quickly to get onto this B site. Brams is there waiting. Oh, Brams burning away though inside of the molly. The hot hands takes him down to low health. Brams able to get one before left. going down as Patatek gets the reply. Four versus three. Advanced signing with the attacking side, but it was all down to that fight. If Shadow had held on from the boathouse, maybe there's a fight chance planted. for his team, but he's gone down very quickly. And Excel have pounced their way in towards the site. Potentially, this could be their second round. We'll see Vac try to start something here as he moves in with the operator. He'll find an opportunity, but Mo is down below his crosshat. Coming through with a headshot has put Kadar just in a very unwinnable position at this 1v4. Stuck in towards b main. I think the play is to just kill these players as they go off of the site. Keep it costly for XL if you can. Kadar's position. They don't commit into it. They don't get caught. Fury connects on the last shot. Waiting by the switch. Doesn't know quite which direction these XL players are going to show up first. Shadow's ready to play off of it without recoil. All Shadow. Good for one, but that is all he will find before being traded out. Brands from the site has done well to pick up two kills. He goes back out. He'll find his third. Nine, two. Joke's over. You're dead. He's going to be caught up towards Heaven. Sender holding down his angle. Patatek inside of that runner back. He goes down to Sender. They move forward in towards the site, still at a 5v5, center's position in towards hell, is good for 1-2, couldn't quite get more, but luckily, his teammates are getting kills elsewhere, and it's all down to just one player, Patatek, surely it will be. It's something that Mo is aware of, he keeps looking around to see if he's going to get pushed in mid. He made control is difficult. Mo, I think, out. needs to not die here. And actually, all oh, of the backs are turned from these Vitality players. He's getting some free and open kills just because of that presence from Excel over in B main. Now Shadow finds an opening to get onto the site and to pick up that spike. But Mo is now finding all of the success. A triple kill for him is all he's going to manage. But a 13 HP Shadow in a 1 versus 2? Let's see how likely this is. Yeah, well, not likely at all. It is gone three rounds now. Excel when it comes to their kills. What's up against this full buy? So far, it's not the best start. Patatek wanted to try and push up on B main against the utility. So, just having these sheer numbers on this side of the map is going to be very difficult for Vitality to maneuver around. Here goes Chihuahua out with the first pick, but right through the boxes. Stender in with a headshot. Kadar comes in with one as well. Ellen tries his best to pull the team back into it, but he just can't do it. It's about taking that space and even getting those places to the obs. Blade Storm even just used on the attack. That's tick again going down on his own. It's just shut down. Oh, I love that. More players. <laughs> oh, it's, it's an awkward one, but XL have pulled it back a couple of kills. Yeah, they have, and drawing it back, in fact, further to the four versus three, but side, but getting tied up. And he's down. down. What a shot from Qatar! That is ridiculous. As so well, the recon ball goes out first. That shot signals he's no longer on it. Gravity well out for the peak, and Brams with the three K. Well, that's not what I'm saying. Wait, you're not part of the scroll wheel jumping club? Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, just saying. Baseball I, jumpers I, don't I, have that problem. I don't think it's that hard to not mess up on. No, it's not. But if you're in a little panic, it, it does happen more often. But the Force is available on the attack. Three plays from Vitality making their way in onto mid. Nice shot play from Aussie with the Bulldog of all things. Traded out eventually. Now Hunter's Fury. Is it catching on to anybody? It is on the attacking side. And now Kata goes down on a defensive Hunter's Fury at the same time. The Tour de Force holding down mid, and Element is actually going to play on the other side of the Cosmic Divide. Now for the defense. Element's more interested in who could come in behind him. The timing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a bad timing. The Tour de Force right on him, and Mo. Are they going to check this corner? The Aldrin is actually going to find him. 
The Rikunda is thrown out a bit haphazardly. Sender wasn't expecting him in this position, and now Mo could save it for his team. Shadow goes in for a jiggle peek, comes straight Much of him on the Phoenix that really piqued our interest on the race, perhaps. And he's the one that opens up the kill feed. Ozzy's there to follow. Are there any place from XL actually going to try and push them? They see. Uh, he's not going to be expecting this position. Chihuahua just had two players coming around. I love how Sender doesn't check, but Kata comes around looking directly at that position. Shadow able to come out with one, gets traded out very quickly by Mo. It's put Kata into this one versus three. They know where he last was. He's going to start relocating back to heaven, though, and this time is starting to take. They spotted him out. Kata with a headshot, but the time, it's too far gone. He can't do much about this one. Couple of nice shots from him. The pistol will go in favor of XL, who are off to a good start. Let's get out Kada oh, gets no. caught. Patatek brings down Kada. The lineup is set for back as he takes down Mo and Patatek. And suddenly at a three versus three, Shadow's position gets caught on two fronts. And XL bring down the only B defender. We have to look to Vitality's rotations to see if they can have a shot at winning this round. This is XL on a bone to mid again. And these two defenders are so scared to drop down. It's bought so much time for Chihuahua to get in behind. He knows where one is. He's even going to take the time to see if he can get a good to both. But he's, it's some reason. Your lovely shot. Patatek goes down. And now Vitality with disadvantage start to charge forward into the attack forward. XL starting to move. They've really not got a lot of space yet. Cosmic Divide is really trying to allow them onto the site, but they need to deal with some pesky defenders that are still in and around it. They've finally been able to do that. And that wall will start to come down very, very shortly. At 55 seconds, Chihuahua has the angle on the flank, but Shadows turn and shut him down, and suddenly XL are down a player. At least they have got that spike down, and they have the site, but here comes the retake attempt. The Rolling Thunder goes through, but Aussie completely unaffected. It's the only player left. It's one for him. The spike somewhat planted for him, and no. Aussie, another 3K. This guy's looking to carry his team through to five, and Aussie tucked in the corner, looking for Brams, and Aussie's so close. But yet so far, it looked like he was about to get it done. But Brams... Timing of Chihuahua. Lovely aggression from Vitality. And Vac has brought down Chihuahua. Now this might just signal XL to go for the play in towards Brams. Checking those angles carefully. Showstopper now trying oh, to explode wow. out of this position. Sender on a nice angle gets traded up by the ultimate near on instantly. And Shadow taking that peak. Can only find Element. He's overhealed. He's ready for more jewels and then some. Do what that Vitality can do. There is a Resurrect available. And Vac opening the back of the site onto Elbow is a slip in for Vitality, but they need more players, so the res might be dedicated. Lovely shots from Aussie 3K. Brings down them all. Oh, Chihuahua. He's in the corner and Kadab Ray site. It seems to be that they just want to stop. Here comes the flight forward. Showstopper takes down Patatek. Follow up kill onto Aussie. So good as Vitality's retake is looking deadly as hell. Just one player left. It's Element, and he has been caught. Raz brings Rams. him down for the thing. a lot of pests. Yeah. This is about to be explosive. Actually, it looked like it was about to be, be a little better there, Ryan, but Mo just swings around and takes down Vac. Chihuahua is actually a perfect kill to open a stage up on the high ground. Oh, missed. Yeah. It's holding on now, and Chihuahua's managed to flank in. He's traded instantly from Brams. While Shadow's trying to try and push forward from Defender's spawn, right now Excel hold a two-man advantage in their initial attack. It's just been so... ...on the attack, just the calls that they've made, the rotates, and how... ...battle, and now they can go for that spike plan at the back of the side, but here comes this rotation. A five versus five is now given the advantage to Excel with that risky, but beautiful play from Patatech. I'm guessing they have to keep an eye over their shoulder just in case. It might not even matter. Aussie's able to add a few more to his multi-kills. And it's all up for Kata in a one versus three. Up in elbow. Sage wall blocking him off. The attackers don't know where he is, but I don't think they mind all that much. They're going to have a good inkling that he's around. Yeah, at this point, they're just trying to back away safely. 
Kida even gets caught on the way back. Ultimately do it with that oh spike goes down in this A site. And we got to look at Vitality, how they're going to get back into this one. They know Chihuahua is always a nuisance. Always around here, always causing problems. He comes away with one as he gets traded out one for one. They currently look at XL, who have got themselves in a very comfortable post-plant setup. As Patatek can keep these two players away. Oh, he's repositioned just as the Aftershock started coming through. And he's still able to come away with a kill up to the Heaven player. Oh, that is beautiful from Patatek. He's trying to find a little bit more impact. And that's why you love to see him on something different than the Phoenix. He can deliver that kind of impact. And XL looking to push forward to try and close it. Shadow, in fact, with the kill, suddenly back. Oh, Patatek. They do damage on the way, but yes, of course. That is a nice little dissipate to get that information. And now that showstopper is about to come out. He's forced away. He might not even get a clear shot. Straight on towards the site element. He's trying to get that showstopper to be impactful. He's trying to line up the heaven play. And ooh, he's not going to find anything. Element instead brings Brams out of play. Here comes that rolling thunder from Shadow. He's looking to set it up, but him a little bit too late to deny the plant. It's all about setting up that opportunity, the platform for the retake attempt. Kadar comes in with three, but slow, methodical attacking side they have presented us throughout this entire half. Sender will be walled off. Breaks down that wall, and oh, Rams, you, you love your little attempt. Shadow able to come through with two, actually get some fragging output, but once again, Patatek finding success. Oh, no. And Chihuahua, will he walk right into the judge? He will indeed. Vac brings it for XL. Well, he obviously knows that there's a player in that spot, so they're going to punt as far away as possible. Might even be the area that Patatek's watching. He's more completely separating himself. And Vitality looking good to take three out of this one with that res back up, but Patatek. He's in a decent position here. He could find a multi-kill if they don't check him. They start to come into his crosshair. They now see where he is. That fault is the relocation. Aussie's so aware of how to play these situations. Once again, comes away with one. Puts himself in the best position possible for multi-kills. He's now got a chance to try and close this round for 10. Aussie on the 3k. Goes back for 4, but he set up pad attack for the... Th with two players currently in defense on the B site. Could be three if that relocation comes back in. And here comes Chihuahua, the first player through alongside the page shells has stepped up for two kills at the beginning of this round xl off to a flying start and that b execute is stopped before they even exit b man it is an absolute shutdown here on the pistol chihuahua on his third kill and sender the lurk even spotted a luckily they're not too far away so they can get back just in time as the spike has been planted but bram's finding that early opening could be a bit of a concern and mo holding on to see if he can find anything in mid well he's seeing shadow and Patstex used this opportunity to break on to isolate these players on the site. Well, finding picks between them. Patatek runs out of ammo to the side on. He goes, avoids the embarrassment of the melee attack. And it is starting to crumble here for Vitality. Just down to one. Aftershock goes out of the last ditch attempt to try and win this round out. Shadow's doing a decent job, but back on the defuse. He's run out of options and he will run back. Yeah, it's just one of these things where I think XL, they were making sure that they weren't overreacting to any plays, that they weren't going to get pulled too much. And they were luckily not too far away from the site. One is going to be easier said than done with this double setup inside of Mordor and Heaven. I mean, you can have one player inside the ropes anyway, and so XL are taking mid. all of the kills. Shadow able to get at least one, but that spike is down in mid. And these two A players, they now have to leave this A side and have to go and try and find the spike. And it's suddenly all on to Sender to try and keep Vitality in this matchup. Otherwise, XL will be taking this win 12-13-2 and removing Vitality from this matchup, sending them down to the lower bracket. 30 seconds to play left. A couple more matches, Vitality, if they want to have a shot at trying to get through to the challenger stage. We'll see if they can do it. Sender through with another one. Three kills as he tries to keep his team.